Hey, thanks for joining us back out here at the Range Report. In previous videos, I've given you guys a glimpse of a particular firearm that I have. You might have even seen me throw a couple of shots through it, but we really haven't done any sort of review or introduction of it. Well, today we're going to change that. This is the Sig Sauer P229 Blue Piranha that was put together by Lou Horton. It's a conventional 229, but as you can see, it's a little bit flashier. Uh, this is one of 500 that were commissioned by Lou Horton to be done. It has a little bit of an enhanced trigger in it. Nothing special. You know, it doesn't perform any different than any of the regular 229s. It certainly doesn't perform as well as a Legion does, or one with the short reset trigger. But this does do an admirable job at the range. I've had a lot of fun with this since I got it about a year and a half ago. And as you can see, it's blue. All right, now the blue just doesn't extend to the slide and the hammer, but it also is blued on the trigger as well as the grip screws. And the grips, speaking of, are blue Piranha G10 grips. I've got a lot of different handguns, and I got to tell you, as even though I don't like, I'll never put this one in a holster because I'm always going to be afraid of damaging the finish on it, but I just absolutely adore how this gun feels in hand the texturing on the grips while aggressive it's not rough it's not coarse but you just get a phenomenal grip on this thing now the 229 you know in recent years is i can't say it's fallen out of favor because a lot of people still love this platform but in the striker file world with the 320s and 365s the 325 xl the other variety of of, of sigs that they've introduced that have that striker fired feature and lower bore axis, these are kind of becoming a little bit of a dinosaur. Uh, a lot of people don't necessarily like the double fire, uh, the double action, single action firing of this, but you know, the, the theory is that you take your time with, well, the guys will take the time with the follow up shots, but they just want to get that first shot off quick because they're not overly confident with their double action squeeze because you are dealing with 10 to 12 pounds. Now, as you say, this, this, because I bought this in New York, I was forced to take the two 10-round magazines versus the uh, 15 rounds that would have come with it. And you can see we have an empty magazine, and we have an empty chamber. And the controls on this are exactly what you would have on any other 229. You've got your slide stop release, and you have your manual decocker. So with the slide drop, you actuate your decocker and bring it back up. And that's it. It's good to go. There's no safety on the firearm. Doesn't need it. Now this also did come with the Sig Light night sights on it, so they they do glow in the dark. Although these uh, losing a little bit of their shine, uh, but that's okay. It's like I said, it's not a carry gun. This is a collector item, a little bit more of a range toy for me. Uh, some people ask me, well, how could you you know put rounds through a collector gun? You know, there's only 500 of them. I got about 2,000 rounds for this thing, and if I take the slide off of there and flip it over, uh, although the blue coating does not go all the way underneath the slide to the underside because they know it would probably wear, the original surfaces show absolutely no sign of wear. I mean, you would be really hard-pressed to even you know, re realize that this gun has been fired at all. Uh, the coating, although I have been gentle with it, I haven't babied it. You know, I, I wipe it down with, uh, you know, the range bag rag that's in there and oil everything up, clean it, keep it all nice and shiny. But, you know, I don't go out of my way to make sure that I'm white glove handling the firearm. You know, to me, a, a firearm is built that's made to be fired. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter what it costs, that's what they're there for. Buy a gun, go out and enjoy it. That's what this whole Second Amendment is about. But... Getting back to this, we're going to load up some rounds through this. We've got a target behind us. We're going to put some rounds through it and uh, see what it does. Uh, the only thing that is, I would think, is the drawback for me personally. You see that the gun's got serrations front and back on this particular gun. And even though the sight does act as a bit of a cocking shelf, when they polish this slide out for this coating, they knock down every single super sharp edge on it that would give you a good purchase for sliding, you know, for activating the slide. So if your hands do get a little oily or sweaty, you're going to be sliding off of this. You're going to be kind of hard pressed, so I guess it's good why they have that uh, cocking shelf on the, on the sights. 
But like I said, this isn't the kind of gun that you're going to be getting into a, you know, gun battle with. This is going to be a safe queen or, you know, just a range toy. But for now, we're going to take this pretty little lady and see what she can do. Alright, so we have our Sig Sauer P229 Lou Horton Blue Piranha Edition, and about 30 feet behind us is our Silhouette Target. We're going to run a couple of magazines through it to see what we can do. So, here we go. All right, 10 shots, slide locks back with no problem. We're gonna drop this magazine. I'm gonna take a look and see what kind of spread I got. All right, so at 30 feet, I look like I got myself about a six inch spread in the nine and 10 rings. Truth be told, I'm having a little bit of a hard time seeing because it's kind of hot outside. My glasses are fogging up like crazy, and the night sights really don't help that great in the daytime. But we're going to put 10 more shots down range and see if I can just concentrate on the head, see if I can tighten that group up a little bit. So, eyes and ears back on. Fresh mag. Let's go to work. Alright, there's another 10 rounds. And like I said, we're, we're restricting ourselves to 10 round magazines because that's what came with the gun. The 229 does come with two 15 round magazines in the free or non-restrictive states, but in the, in the state of New York, these are what we were limited to when we ordered the gun. But, it looks like I got about uh, 7 out of the 10 right in the cranial region, so it's not that bad. I'll work on it a little bit more, especially when I got a pair of glasses that aren't fogging up on me. But for now, the SIG 229 Blue Piranha from Lou Horton. Great little gun.